Hi everyone, my name is Candice Dima. I'm the UX lead here at Moodle. Today I'm going to be taking you through the latest UX designs for Moodle LMS and that's for our 4.0 release that is happening at the end of this year. Really exciting. We're going to cover quite a bit in this session. Um, we do have some prototype links that I will be able to share with you after this so you can walk through the demo yourself at your own pace. Just a, a word of um, caution about the prototype links. Do understand that we have actually created these in prototyping software. The ones that the one that we are using in this um, demo is Figma. So these prototypes don't behave as much as they look very much like a simulation of a real website. They don't necessarily behave exactly like the website does. So just um, uh, understand that there might not be things that um, work as typically a website would do. It's just a demonstration to show you what the concept is going to be like. Obviously, you will be able to interact with something um, that will be much more reflective of the actual experience when it's been programmed um, using the code. So this is just to tell you about how navigation is going to work, some of those behaviors around certain things. So when you do use the product, just be mindful of that while you're using it and you're clicking around and wondering, why doesn't this behave the exact same way we're doing a website because it's not and it's just a basic prototype to show you the direction of what you're going bearing that in mind though if there's something un unusual or strange or doesn't work do let us know let us know in the feedback because that would be interesting for us to understand you know some of the stuff isn't always um hooked up completely like a website would be because we're only showing you key parts of certain things and if there is stuff missing it's always great to understand and learn from you what it is that you would expect to be there so do leave us comments on things that are missing and say, hey, what about this? You know, we could learn a lot from you guys through this process. So do give us your feedback um, and yeah, enjoy the prototype links. So as I said, we'll be kicking off with navigation, looking at the different parts of navigating around the site using our new components and a brand new component that's going to help you navigate through your course content a lot more easier called the course index. So we'll get started. Right, so we'll get started and looking at the desktop experience and the first thing we want to show you is that pr new primary navigation menu. So as you can see at the top, we have our four new primary navigation items um, looking some of them looking very familiar. You've got your site home, we've got dashboard, we've got my courses and site administration. So you'll see a new addition to the default menu, which is my courses. And this is a standalone dedicated page that we have now included as part of 4.0, which is there to help you manage your courses. So we've included the course overview block on this page. Um, and this is going to really set you up for the future when we want to do really extensive search and organization tasks around your course content, your courses themselves. So um, we felt that this was a huge improvement than have, um, from having this whole block uh, on the dashboard. So we really want to dedicate the dashboard space um, primarily for dashboard tasks, which is going to be things like, what do I need to do next? Um, how should I manage my time better? And all of those lovely things which da dashboard should be able to help you with. And leave the course um, page dedicated to helping you search, navigate, find and organize your courses. Um, so that's the thinking behind that and this is the new addition to the primary menu so we can still get to the dashboard and as you can see it's under construction so we will have a release update for you um, next month around what these new blocks will be looking like as part of that new dashboard so we're working on as you can see timeline and calendar so those will be the dedicated blocks um, obviously still customizable your dashboard you can swap and change and move around your blocks as you would um, and the same with my courses um, if you go in here you can still click from list view you know all the same functionality is still there to card view and back to list view obviously we have changed the ui quite a fair bit it's um, taking a whole new personality and shape and flavor across um, the, no, the new 4.0 experience. A lot more modern, a lot more clean, a lot more fresh. And um, yeah, primary navigation still operating as normal. You'd be hovering over these tabs, which would indicate which one um, that you are hovering over with the underline. And then you could tab within to that page. Primary menu is still going to be 
um, customizable. So you will still be able to add menu items to this primary um, menu list, as well as um, you know anything behind potentially a drop down um, from this menu as well. Great. So you might have been noticing while we were going through some of the primary menu, um, a new page menu that has been presented on the um, page itself. So there's one inside administration and there was also one will take you down into the course page and we'll talk a little bit more now about what that menu is. And that is what we are calling the secondary menu. So if you come down onto, say, for instance, a course page, this is a new course page and this is the um, layout and the new design for 4.0. And you'll see again, there's this element on the page, um, this navigation piece. Um, it works and behaves exactly the same way as the primary menu does. So as you roll over, the object highlights in the menu. These items have been reprioritized in the order of the list um, from most to least important. And we based this off some data that we um, gathered from a research um, a piece of work that we did with our users. So thanks to our users for telling us what they wanted to see in this list from most to least important. So as you'll see now, if you started from the course tab, this is everything within your course. And the most important thing our users wanted to see right after the course was the settings. So you can navigate through to the next um, item in that list um, and it's right there and all the same elements are still there for you to update your settings and so on. And you have that with participants, grades, reports. And then also we have, because of the limited space within our fixed width column uh, columns in the core content, the main content on the page, um, we don't have a wide enough screen to put all of those menu items in and because they are least important to our users based on that data, we have decided to put them in an overflow menu called more. So you can still access content bank, course completion badges, competencies and course admin. They are just behind the more buttons. So they are there within um, this menu over here. So you can tab between any of these items. And if you were, for instance, to go through to uh, course settings, you could go through to grades. And then if you get to grade reports, you also know that there is um, a way in which we need to navigate through the different sections of grades. And we'll be using a component such as this in order to select those different parts of grades. So there's two new components you would have also noticed that have been included on the course page. And that is two little icons on either side of the screen. So if you tap on the first one and you open that up, you'll see a component called the course index. And this is a new feature we're adding to our courses. It allows our users to be able to navigate through sections and activities by opening up the sidebar. So all of your activities are labeled here. And the one that is highlighted is that is the one that is in view. So um, this is an item that is presented by opening up the side, side drawer. So that means if you didn't want to see that and just wanted to focus on the course content itself and um, scroll down to your activities, um, you could remove that information. But as you can see, they stay, they stay sticky. So they're in a fixed position in the screen. So you can always access that course index wherever you are within the course content and then be able to navigate up and down between those different sections and activities. So you will also see the blocks button on the right hand side now is the new button component that reveals the blocks. So within relation to the course index and you wanted to open the blocks side panel, you would click on the button and it would reveal the blocks that automatically close their course index. So the two items work in relation to each other, but you can both switch them off or on at the same time. So revealing blocks or revealing the course index, revealing none of them, and being able to toggle between the two and still focus on the beautiful course content that you see in front of you. And as you can see, we have our lovely new activity icons and activity cards on display within the course itself. So that is a little demonstration of how to open and close um, your new blocks and course index side panel. Now, the most common way 
that we'd normally be navigating down to a activity is by clicking on the link of the activity itself. So if you were to open up here, we'd be seeing that you click on the book activity and now that that is open, we could navigate back to the course using the breadcrumbs. But with using the blocks at the course index on the left-hand side, we can now navigate down to that particular activity using this component. And by clicking on that, that now opens up the book activity. You will see in this instance that the course index automatically closed and the blocks opened by default. And that's because this particular activity we show in the book relies on the blocks to be open because it uses a block called chapters, which is a fixed block for this particular activity that allows our users as well as the buttons to be able to navigate through the different sections of those chapters. So for this instance, we have a rule that says open the blocks by default. So we can close them here. We can still open up that same course index component on the, navig on the activity level as well. Um, here's your blocks and we open it up here and we're able to navigate back up to the course level, not only just using breadcrumbs, but we can also use this course index component. So you were able to navigate through any of these course index um, items, whether it be sections or activities, whichever level you're on within the course from the activity or the course page, you can get back to the course um, level itself. And that section, it will anchor you back at general as we said that was the section that we chose from in that list. So the last quick demo that I wanted to show you was just around course completion, and this is around improving the student experience. So as you navigate down through to the activity assignments, you'll see an example of how we've introduced some important information for our students. If this is enabled on your course, that they are now able to see um, submissions, dates, due dates, open and close dates, depending on what the activity is. We also have included these new um, badges which show the student um, and the users what is the activity completion requirement. So we've surfaced that information on the course level, as you can see it now. And then uh, as you can see for this particular assignment, what you need to do in order to complete this assignment is view the assignment and make a submission. So if I was to click into this activity assignment, I'd go in here and you can see that badge has now automatically updated on this level to done because you have viewed it. So the color changes and the wording changes, and now the student is able to know that this activity has been completed. If they were to navigate back to the course level, you will now see that is also updated on that level too. So for everything that we've shown you on the desktop experience, we also wanted to give you a quick overview on and demonstration on how that works on the mobile browser experience too. So as you can see, here we have that same home page that is mocked up. We are now using a hamburger menu that slides out to a full screen that will allow you to access that um, primary menu, those primary menu items. So from here, you can still get to the dashboard, my courses, site admin. Um, we have been uh, talking about putting notifications, messages, my profile, and the language button, which um, obviously you can see there's not that much space uh, in our horizontal bars, um, horizontal header for the mobile experience. So we have been talking about potentially positioning them within the sidebar. We may put them back up in the header um, just because obviously those are really critical for our users to see when they have notifications themselves when something changes. So the alerts are really important and we may be putting that back in the header. And um, so what would happen is if you slide out from this home page screen um, and you click on to any of these items, again, it would take you to those pages. So we still also have the secondary nav, which I showed you in the desktop version presented in this component, as well as the blocks button. So on the pages where you can preview the blocks, this now slides out from the side rather than them being components that are buried at the bottom of each of those pages. 
so you can access them really easily just by clicking this button and to find that secondary menu you just click on that um, home page list and it comes up with your settings filter back up your store and all those items which are part of your site home menu so as we click through to the dashboard exactly the same you've got your blocks that you're accessing being able to access from there and your primary nav from here when you get through to my courses and mobile view again we have the same experience your blocks are available from here and when you click through to the course experience you still have that secondary menu so you can get from course to settings settings back to the course using this um, uh, mobile menu and here you can see we've introduced our new table of um, course index component which is available um, next to the blocks button that you can access and find the rest of those items so that you can click through to your activities using that same component and click back up to um, the next level you can either use your breadcrumbs or your course index component to be able to do that Well, I do hope you like that very quick demonstration of some of the new navigation aspects of the 4.0 experience. Um, next time we will be focusing a bit more on the edit mode. So if you have noticed, we have a new edit component right at the top right of the screen and it's switched off for now. So next time we're going to switch it on and show you exactly what the new course creation experience is going to be like and how um, that universal editing button is going to help you understand what mode you're in and what are some of the cool new things that we've introduced as part of create a course in the whole new interface um, we're very excited to show you how that works obviously the course index is going to play a major part in helping our um, course teachers and administrators and course designers um, uh, be able to easily move drag drop and interact with course content using this component so we're really excited to show you all those new user journeys for uh, for the next part of that so watch out for that that'll be available um, in about a month's time